Welcome back to Blake's Take. I'm Blake Neiman, and I'll give you my take on local and national sports from the Lambent Valley and beyond. I hope you all are having a terrific Thursday, and tomorrow's Friday, so you're almost there and almost uh, made it to the end of the week. Uh, so let's get right started with the sports world uh, with some NBA news uh, out of L.A. with uh, Tyron Lue signing a five-year contract with the Los Angeles Clippers, uh, hoping to get them back into championship contention. Uh, the last time Tyron Lue was a head coach was uh, when he was with the Cleveland Cavaliers and led them to three straight NBA Finals and uh, became the first coach ever uh, with a 3-1 comeback in the NBA Finals. Uh, so hopefully he can do that once more and bring a championship to the Los Angeles Clippers. So some interesting news there in the NBA. Uh, on to the NFL. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs are actually looking at a uh, Acquiring Le'Veon Bell, Le'Veon Bell uh, said that he would agree to a one-year contract with the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, so that would really improve Kansas City's running game, especially with their loss of their starting running back Damian Williams this year due to uh, opting out due to COVID-19. Uh, so things are looking better for Le'Veon Bell after he was released from the Jets earlier this week and uh, finally found a team as a free agent. Uh Tonight, there will be no Thursday night football game between the Bills and the Chiefs uh, due to COVID-19 reasons. Uh, The game will be rescheduled to this Sunday, the 18th. Uh, As far as MLB action, we'll dive right into it with the ALCS. Uh, We had Game 4 where the Rays were looking out to close out this series and advance to the World Series with a sweep over the Astros. Uh, Jose Altuve would get things started for the Astros with his second straight homer in the first inning. Uh to put them up 1-0. Uh, he would then hit another one in the, hit a, actually a uh, deep one to right field that almost went out but ended up hitting the wall uh, to bring in another run for the Astros to t- the, take the 2 nothing lead. Uh, however, then Randy Orozarena would do a Randy Orozarena things and uh, tie up the things to a piece with a, a two-run shot in the fourth inning uh, to tie things up. Uh, George Springer uh, said, we're not losing tonight, though, uh, with a absolute shot to the third deck uh, in the fifth inning with a, to take a two-run lead over the Rays uh, with his two-run homer. Uh, Willie Adonis would make things actually interesting in the ninth inning with a uh, solo RBI to uh, put the things within one. However, the... Uh, Rays would just not be able to close things out and uh, would end up losing 4-3 to three in this game. Astros looking to make the improbable 3-0 comeback, so we'll see how the rest of this series turns out, but things are looking a little interesting there. Uh, diving into the historic NLCS game between the Dodgers and the uh, the Braves, where the Dodgers would have an 11-run first inning an 11-run first inning, that's absolutely unheard of, especially in a game caliber like the ALCS. Uh, Jock, uh, Jock Peterson would start the rally with a, a home, three-run homer uh, to take the 5-0 lead. Um, next pitch, the very next pitch, Edwin R- Rios uh, would back him up with a homer of his own. Uh, Max Muncy would then uh, cap off the 11-run first inning rally uh, with a grand slam to take the 11-0 lead in the first inning. So great, great start for the Dodgers in this game. Uh, Cody Bellinger would then tack on another run with a sh- solo shot to right field uh, in the second inning. And then in the third inning, they would add three more runs to their lead uh, with a three-inning rally to uh, get the 15-3 to historic win in this game. Just an absolutely incredible performance by the Dodgers in this game, uh, becoming the all-time leader in uh, runs in a single inning in a postseason game with 11. So great win for the Dodgers, and hopefully they can keep that momentum going into Game 4. As far as local sports go, uh, Flemouth football practice was canceled today due to uh, an increase in COVID-19 cases in Benton County. Uh, the team plans to resume practices uh, on Tuesday from 4 to 6 p.m. So, uh, so let's pray that uh, 
COVID doesn't affect uh, this long-awaited football uh, practice session. So let's keep our fingers crossed that COVID stays away from our area and that we can continue with our sports plan. So thank you for tuning in once again to another day of Blake's Take, and uh, uh, I appreciate you all. Make sure you can also uh, catch me on Spotify and Apple Podcasts if you'd prefer that platform. And I'll see you all tomorrow for uh, end-of-the-week Friday Take. See you tomorrow.